Welcome, data enthusiasts. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of kurtosis and skewness, two critical concepts that breathe life into data analysis. These intriguing statistical measures help us describe the distribution of data points in a dataset. Skewness is all about the asymmetry, while kurtosis is the tale of the tales. Sounds confusing? Don't worry, we're about to decode these stats terms in simple, easy to grasp language. So, buckle up and get ready for a fascinating journey into the world of data distribution. First, let's tackle skewness. This statistic measures the asymmetry of your data distribution. Imagine a balance scale. When your data lean more to one side, that's skewness. Now picture the income distribution in a society. It often skews to the right, which means it has a longer tail on the higher end. This tells us that more people have incomes below the average. So, skewness helps us understand the balance or imbalance in our data distribution. Remember, income distribution often skews right, indicating more people have incomes below the average. Now, on to kurtosis. Think of it as the measure of the tails in your data distribution. It's like imagining a dragon's tail. The longer and spikier the tail is, the higher the kurtosis. This essentially means that more data points are located in the tails of the distribution, indicating more outliers. Conversely, a shorter, less spiky tail signifies low kurtosis, suggesting fewer outliers. So in essence, high kurtosis means more data points are in the tails, indicating more outliers, while low kurtosis suggests fewer outliers. Visualize this. You're analyzing heights in a population. If the majority are around the average, but a few are extremely tall, that's high kurtosis. The data has a long spiky tail reaching up to the giants among us. Now, if most heights are below average with a few much taller individuals, that's right, skewness. The balance scale of our data tilts to the right. It's like having a basketball team with mostly average heights and one or two giants. Understanding skewness and kurtosis is crucial in data analysis. They are like two compasses guiding us through the wilderness of data, helping us identify potential biases and understand the underlying patterns. Imagine being a detective and these are your tools to uncover hidden patterns. Skewness and kurtosis provide a lens to view our data from different perspectives. They are not just statistical jargon, but gateways to deeper insights. From risk management in finance to quality control in manufacturing. These metrics are vital for making informed decisions. Kurtosis and skewness are more than just statistical jargon. They're gateways to deeper insights in your data. We've journeyed through skewness, revealing the asymmetry in data and kurtosis, the telltale sign of outliers. These tools not only enhance data interpretation, but also influence decisions across various domains. Now it's your turn. Unearth the hidden patterns in your data. What interesting patterns have you discovered using these tools? Share in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more data science insights.